Uh, let's get into it. Chapter three. Chapter three, I'm a tree. Oh. I'm not even gonna try to, uh, to read this. I'm just gonna, yeah, cool, move on. Mm-hmm. Yaro. <clears throat> Welcome, creature. My name is Yar. Do you speak human? <laughs> Do you speak human? Oh my goodness, yes. Finally, words I understand. My good friend Ride told me that you showed him an illusion. Or, whoa. I can't read. An illustration. What the fuck? With four humans and a cat. I assume you're one of them. The little girl. Please forgive my good friend if he scared you. We have never seen a human looking like a tree before. Yeah, she's never seen it either, so she's just as dumbfounded as you. Uh, let me explain. I, there's nothing to explain. I have no idea, so help. Help me. Help me, please. I'm a girl. Ho, ho, ho. No need to speak, my child. The seed will show me everything. The seed? <laughs> Bro. Was that supposed to mean? He just grew something off of me? You are good, no doubt about that. A seeker of the truth. Very common of the bow family tree. What? Ah, uh, your name is Fran. You are the little girl with the passion for life. Yeah? I see great love towards this little creature standing next to you. Oh, Mr. Bird, I didn't even see him right there. And right on cue, right on cue, we have little Miss Cleo. You can't see her tail. And she's laying on my PC, great. My cat's laying my on my entire uh, desk mat right now. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna go around her. There you go. A cat, protector of gates, interesting. Uh, wh why does everyone know me? What's happening? Is my family part of a something bigger? Like a cult? Like Hereditary? I watched Hereditary yesterday, and that's what happened. No spoilers, but it's culty. Why does everyone know about me? Be quiet. I see something else. The seed doesn't hide anything. I see a world nobody should see. Nobody except for one. What do you mean? <laughs> I love the little profile picture. It's so stupid. <laughs> uh, what do you mean by except for one? You mean the monster? You are not supposed to be here, Fran. Obvious. I mean, that's pretty obvious. If you ask me. That is the only thing I can tell you, my child. Well, can you help me at all? Like, give me anything? Anything. Uh, we can't let you leave now. It's too dangerous for us. What is that supposed to mean? You should have never been aware of our existence. You guys are the one who came after me, okay? I was minding my own business on the floor, being a little tree that fell over. And you guys are the one that, like, kidnapped me, basically. Threw me into your flying boat. So that's on you, dude. On you, dog. There must be a way. Am I dead or something? Dead? What do you mean by that? You know, when you no longer exist. Besides, it's not normal to be a tree. I must be dead. Death is nothing more than the absence of love. So poetic. Uh, once you can't feel love, you die, even if your body still walks. Oh. Well, I want to go home. Help me. Then I'm not dead. You have to get, or you have to help me get back home. Uh, little cat, come closer. Let me see you. What is your name? Oh, Mr. Midnight's talking now. My name is Mr. Midnight. That is indeed a very pretty name. Do you think friends should go back home? Yes, I do, sir. Show us the way back home. I implore you. Oh my God, this cat's vocabulary is immaculate. Ah, I have a question. Are you the king? Haha, ha, you're hilarious. Yes, I am the king, the king of Etherstar. 
Oh, what an honor, your highness. By the way, I like your leaves. They are pretty. They are very pretty, actually. Um, uh, will you please help me, please? Cleo, she is stomping on my keyboard, dude. Don't do that. I don't know my keybinds, and if you start muting or changing the scenes, I'm gonna be mad, okay? Just lay down. Why is this need of you going home so great? The seed told me your story. King Sir, please, will you help me? You don't have much to go back to. There are many reasons, sir. My Aunt Grace. But the most important is my aunt. She will protect me. I want to feel that somebody cares about me. I feel confused almost all the time and I want to be someplace where I feel at home, sir. I see, you are very brave. Thank you. I just want to go home. Please help me. There are things I cannot do, but I will help you. I will lead you to the door that will take you home, but it's your own task to walk through it. Okay. Uh, really, thank you so much. And where's the store, sir? Uh, we'll talk about that later. First things first, you must be able to walk and talk on this land. Yes, sir. That would be very great. Um, I'm afraid I won't be able... Dude, I told you my cat! I told you! She would fucking... <laughs> You're off the table now. I knew she would do that shit. Thank god I caught it. You can't do that. You can't press my keybinds. Because you will do that. Dude, every stream she interrupts. Or not interrupts, but you know. Like as soon as I press the stream button, she's like all up on me. All up on my setup. <laughs> so cute. Cat lore? I know. This game's all about the kitty, and I got my kitty. My kitty's jealous, that's why. She's jealous of Mr. Midnight. Sorry, Quio. Wait, can you see her? Hold on. Oh, she's like, licking herself. <laughs> anyway, yeah, um, confirmed. Cleo's jealous of Mr. Midnight, but sorry. Mr. Midnight comes priority right now, Cleo. I'm sorry. Uh, where am I? You must first understand our language. But how will I ever understand your language? Eat this fruit. <laughs> Good fucking throw, dude. Your ears and tongue will be able to understand, but not your eyes. That means you won't be able to read. That's fine. Uh, don't worry about that, I can always ask. Excuse me, do you understand what I say, human lady? Yes, I do, and you sound so kind. This is incredible. Did you understand, my kitty? I didn't, your highness. I demand one fruit for myself. You don't need the fruit, Mr. Midnight. Our land is based on fragrances and sound. You'll see everything as your own world very soon, no doubt about that. You'll do fine, kitty. And sir, do you know why I became a tree? Yes, but I don't think I'm the right one to give you the answers. But if you have the answers, you should give them. Now, it's time for the procedure. Are you afraid of heights? Um, depends, I guess. I don't really think she is. Well, it depends on the height. Why? Take her upstairs immediately. Ew, where are you taking me? What are you going to do to me? To get some arms and legs. Oh, okay, everything will be fine. Sick. I trust you. I'll be waiting for you, Fran. I love you. Love you too, Mr. Midnight. Just gonna be taken away by this giant cockroach. Such interesting creatures. They're so nice, though. Oh my god, I thought he was gonna yeet me off the cliff. <laughs> that would have been hilarious. Okay, good day. My name is Palantras. And I'm your doctor today. I, your humble service. Oh my god, it looks like a little, like, ocelot. How adorable. Are you the emergency case? Yeah. Wow, amazing. What a beautiful, fluffy thing. Excuse me. Oh, I'm sorry. It's just that I've never seen anything like you before. I'm still trying to understand that all of this is real. Is it real? Is it, though? My name is Fran. I'm a human girl. The king sent me here to do some arms and legs so I can go home. Or to get some. Oh, human, I think we can get you a pair of arms and legs. Thank you. Uh, but we'll have to travel a little bit further in order to fix that. 
Are you ready to enter the paws of the beast? Hell yeah, brother. What beast? Me, I'm the beast. Let's go. Oh my god, it reminds me of a uh, like Appa from Avatar. Just like an oxalot. Or axolotl. What are they called? I don't know. Here we are. This is beautiful. Look at that. Look at this. A pink bath with a waterfall. I'm in heaven. Here we are. Wow, this place is so beautiful and peaceful. I wish I could be here forever. Thank you. This is my home. This is where I was born. <laughs> so cute. The spirit of the great Valkus created it. It has the purest water in the whole universe. Oh, wow. That sounds amazing. Um, tell me more about this guy. Who's the great Valkus? Haven't you heard about the five realities? He is the king of the first reality. A long time ago, he was at war with the darkness and one day he fell. He fell so badly, his heart was broken and he was all alone. But he came to Ithersta and his blood made this water pink. It's not weird. That is why it's so pure. It's a very long story. <laughs> That's actually kind of the opposite of pure water because blood is highly toxic, but whatever whatever potato potato wow that sounds grand i mean i didn't know about other realities and how is it that you are here what brought you to ithersta my kitty and i were on our way back home i was so happy to see him and hug him again but then we fell the big monster that follows me did this he broke the bridge he wants me dead who would like to see you dead that sounds terrible I prefer not to talk about this. Come on, friend. But sir, doctor, do you know why I became a tree? Yes, yeah, sometimes our wishes are so strong that they become true. You did this in order to keep yourself alive. Really? Think about it this way. Your human body was destroyed. But you wanted to keep being Fran. You wanted to keep your life. So you took on this empty shell to maintain all your precious memories with you. It is actually the first time I've seen a human using a tree as a chrysalis. What? I'm so smart. But it's dangerous to have you here. It makes our land vulnerable. I'm sorry. I did this to myself? Wow, but Palantra, sir. How? I didn't know I was doing anything. <laughs> Look at her little face. It's so stupid cute. Uh, you really didn't know what you were doing. I see. Well, when you travel to Ithersta, you opened a door between your reality and ours. And with this door open, unexpected creatures can also enter our reality. And if that happens, the balance will be tainted. And there's only one who would like to poison the second reality. The monster, the terrible black... I can't see this happening again. I just can't. Don't be sad, doctor. I'm very sorry for what I did. I didn't mean to. Oh, little girl, you're so nice and you don't have anything to be sorry for. I think you're very special, but let's concentrate on your arms and legs, all right? Mm, yes, doctor. This is so cute. Like we went from highly, highly, highly disturbing to like, I want to cry, it's so beautiful and so pure. Soldier of the sun, spirit of the water, get Fran her arms and legs. It's that easy. Oh my God, just when I didn't think it could get any cuter. How do you feel Fran from Ethersta? Wow, I feel like a beautiful tree. I have leaves. I'm glad you like it. I told you we would fix it. This water is magical. It can fix anything. Anything? Do you think it can fix my mommy and daddy? Oh, don't start. Don't start, Fred. Don't do it. You're going to be so disappointed with the answer. What do you mean, fix them? What's wrong with them? Well, well, 
long story short, they're missing, you know, their head and arms and legs and their limbs are everywhere. I don't even know. So not much. Very fixable. Nothing, doctor. Thank you very much for helping me. You are the best doctor I've ever had and you are fluffy and beautiful. I had another doctor before. His name was Dr. Dern, but he was an evil old man. That's right. An old man. Hmm. I bet he wasn't that bad. Maybe he was just following the rules. Yeah, no. Uh, let's go now. I'll leave you at the station. Just got swooped away. Oh my god, Fran is so fucking cute as a tree. So fucking cute. Yeah, they, they kind of got dismembered, dude. <laughs> Hey man, having kids costs an arm and a leg and a head. Oh, true. True. That's actually the realities of life. That's foreshadowing right there. It's the realities of life, dude. I want to live by a pink waterfall. Me too, dude. Me too. And I want to have beautiful hair like this that's made of leaves. Maybe not a wooden body, though. No. I, I want him as a pet, though. I love him. He's so cute. Um, Here we are again. Show Ziar the king what a nice ethers... Ether Stannis, you've become. Thank you again, Doctor. You have to meet my kitty someday. That would be lovely. I'll see you soon. Goodbye. Can you get me some clothes, please? On your way out. No? No? Just naked? Cool. Um, oh, he's playing with kitty. You fluffy kitty. Do you like that? Here I am. Friend, my dear, you've got leaves on your head. How pretty. This is so fucking cute, dude. Oh, let me see you. What a great Etherstenis. I don't know why it's so hard for me to say Etherstenis. There we go. Gosh. Thank you, King Sir. The doctor is incredible. He made magic with the water. But he was sad. He told me many things I didn't quite understand. Don't worry. Palantras will be fine. I know the reasons. Okay. We have some problems to solve, but that's nothing you should worry about. Let's talk about how you can get back home, right? Yes, please. You said something about a great wizard. Yes, the great wizard is the only one who is able to bring your human body back. And he has the stones that can open the door that will lead you home. Where's the wizard? What stones? This land is full of things I don't understand. Haha, <laughs> you haven't even got outside this castle and you already want to know everything. That's the passion I was talking about. Have patience, Fran. Bro, this is a lot to take in. Like, look at her. She's like, ugh. God damn it, fine. The Great Wizard lives in the Great Mountain Cotrim. But we haven't seen him for a while now. Find him and everything will be just fine. Why haven't you tried to find the Great Wizard yourself? Damn. Damn, Fran, calm down. A little sassy. Well, we don't need to. It's very logical. You see, we don't need a wizard to perform magic or prepare potions. We can do that ourselves. Ah. Oh. The wizard's most valuable task is to protect the stones that open the door. I see. So the stones are like keys. And where is this mountain, you said? You'll have to ask around. Follow the signs. Bruh. This guy loves withholding information. He fucking gets off on just... Oh. Uh, it's not my place to tell you. Like, shut up. I have to go now. But I'll be back in time to help you with the door. Have a great Etherst day and good luck finding the great wizard. Okay. Wow, did you see that huge fluffy creature kitty? That's Polontras. He fixed me. Yes, it's certainly very fluffy. Oh, I forgot. Here's your purse. Sick. Thank you, kitty. Did you see my pills anywhere? I don't think so. Maybe they're on the other side of the lake next to your clothes. Um, well, we have other things to do anyways. We have to find the wizard. Yes, the king said something about a mountain, too. Yes, Mountain Cotrim. The great wizard lives there. Let's go. Okay, so I don't have my pills anymore. Which, not very pog. Because I want to see some fucked up shit. But, it's fine. It's fine. I guess this is going to be a very PG, happy, friendly episode. <gasps> Look at my hand! Look at the hand. That's so cute. So, dang, the puzzles are harder then, and I don't even have the pills, because normally that's the hard part, is trying to, like, 
go back and forth between like being sane and insane and figure out the puzzles with that but if i don't need the pills then i gotta think a little differently hey dude no no you can't get in it's closed Por qué? what's behind the passage sorry i just want to see what's behind this passage well the library of course but it's closed Come back in fall or winter, then it will be open. A seasonal library? Hey, aren't you the talking tree I took to see Polontras? Hell yeah, brother, that's me. Polontras gave me arms and legs. Yes, and also a head. That's very positive. <laughs> yes. Uh, why is the library closed, sir? Well, that's logic. As the sun goes around the second moon of Itherstha, we open. Only then the real knowledge will be learned. And that only happens in fall and winter. Cool. Oh. Oh, so you don't learn anything while you're in summer or spring. Of course we learn. We learn all the time. I'm learning now that you like to ask so many questions. Okay, bitch. <laughs> She's like, okay, bitch. <laughs> I love her face. Like, facial expressions. Like, look at this and then look at that. Like, <laughs> look how fucking dorky. Oh my god. All right. Let's figure this out. So... Wow, this is a bit scary, but it's so beautiful. What are you looking at? Uh, oh, this one's kind of pretty. Hello, sir. Um, what are you doing? I'm just standing here. You see? Mount, okay, not even, do you know where Mount, no, Mountain Coachroom? Oh, I see. Do you know where the Mountain Coachroom is? Yes. Can you tell me where it is? Yes. Don't you fucking start, dude. Don't you. Well, tell me, please. Mm, the Mountain Coachroom is only in winter time. Are you kidding? Winter time, what are you talking about? Hmm, of course, winter time, what do you think? Oh my fucking god. The amount- I said this, I think last episode, the amount of patience this bitch has is so... immaculate, dude. Uh, can't wait for winter. Can't wait. At all. Oh, you don't wait for it? You go there. <gasps> Girl. <laughs> oh, but how? Oh, sorry, I'm no good at explaining things. Go down the stairs and then straight. You'll find a clockmaker. He can explain things, I think. He tried with me before. All right, thank you, sir. Good thing you're pretty. Uh, sun is very different. Understand the language already? Yes, I actually understood what the guard told you. I hope you find the clockmaker soon so we can go to mount mount the mountain. God dang. Uh, okay, wait. Do I need to explore a little bit more before I leave? Uh, okay. So, oh, that's where I started. I see. All right, so let's just go down the bridge. Or the stairs, I guess. So down the stairs, what do you say? Straight? And straight. Um. Oh, look at the little fishies. How's the game? The game is fucking awesome, dude. So sick. Probably one of my favorite series I've played so far. Probably because it's not, you know, super terrifying like the ones I normally play. It's more entertaining. And I love it. My voice doesn't love it though. Because I have such a I have such a weak voice that I'm like, ugh by the end. Okay, so that's where I was. I go down and to the right, because that's Mount Coachroom. Yes, down over here. What's this? This is a very odd clock. Where are the numbers? It has symbols and colors, but it doesn't seem to show the time. Well, I guess the time works differently here in Thirsta. Okay. What's this? It sounds like something broke. Okay. Um, huh. 
I would like to borrow that boat. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. What is this? Oh, this is like a grasshopper. Hello. Good day, living creature. All good? <laughs> All good? Yeah, I feel a lot. Yeah, I feel, dude. Uh, what are you doing? I'm smelling this flower. Beautiful creation. Hmm. Are you waiting for someone? By chance? Um, I'm waiting for the lemons to grow. Do you like lemons? Uh, too sour for my taste, sir. But lemonade is yummy. Lemonade is what I will do with these lemons for the customers of the bar, you know? And we'll put some other stuff inside too so we can fly. Fly? Wow, that I would like to try that. It sounds great. Yeah, this is why I wait. You can't rush it. Hey, the bar opens in fall and is a very awesome dancer will perform. You should come and hang out. Maybe I will. It sounds like fun. Okay, so it's, I think, springtime now. Because they keep talking about this stuff. So, I don't know. Uh, what is, oh, that's my kitty. <laughs> I was like, what is that? What is this hut? Uh, I must say something pretty important. Oh, but I can't read it, huh? What do I have in my inventory? Oh, bloody knife, sick. Comes in handy for sure. Um, what is this? Whoa, I actually did not know I had this. I found myself hunting the truth, but finding the unexpected. I found what my senses couldn't show me. I found the truth that relays silently in the unknown. Whoa. Uh. Oh my God. This is probably, oh, this is probably important, huh? I probably should read this. July 11th, 1908. My name is Leon. I'm currently 92 years old, living alone in a little house far away from the city. I have to admit, I was never fond of jewelry houses or clothing. Since childhood, I always talked to animals, plants, and insects, and even though I never got a response, I never quit. If you're reading this, maybe it's because you were looking for answers. Maybe you can see other things that, or see things that others can't, or you can feel what others avoid. You can listen to the silence and become one with everything. Uh, December 17th, 1875. I can't stop it. I can't control it. I see the black shadows everywhere. The blood, the messages, the screaming, all the pain. I can't figure out why this is happening to me. Was that written in the ho in the hospital? I can't remember. Oh, that's the bitch chasing me. That's the bitch chasing me, dude. Uh... Uh, December 19th, 1875, I had a vision. I'm still breathing fear. I feel at war with my own mind. One of the shadows came down from the sky. I thought it was an angel. Its name is Remor, Prince of Darkness from the fifth reality. It talked to me, played with me, and showed me all the terrors. It told me that I was the key to its, ex its existence. Inside my head, the stone of wisdom inside my head. What? Wait, so this isn't it word? This is Remor? Did I already know that or am I just finding that out? I don't know. Keep going. January 13th, 1876. I can see myself, the other me, tell me lies. Talk about all the pain and suffering in my life. The other me wants to, me to commit suicide. He tell, or he smiles while pronouncing the words, kill yourself. I have tried, hypnotized by his words, but there's always something saving me at the end. It must be the love to live. Oh, Mr. Leon. January 15th, 1876. I meet a shadow for the first time. It talked to me. Kamalas. The race is called the Kamalas. They hunt weaknesses and pain. I asked about it, or I asked about the possession of human bodies, and it said, We are born and freed from fear and the uncontrolled illness of human mind. We are invisible to them, but our existence grabs every single living cell of the body until the end. After that, it started raining and it walked away from me, leaving a black oily path after it. I believe water may purify them. Huh. You've heard of it word and you've seen him. You just don't realize yet. So if it word's not, not the big, the big monster chasing me. Is it the, is it that like that crooked man guy that I saw with the one with the top hat? And he's all like, Doo -doo -doo -doo. I feel like it might be him then. Uh, January 16th, 1876, after seeing the Kamalas reacting to water, I thought of trying a little experiment. Last night, I encountered something amazing. The Kamalas transform into a new kind of creature when exposed to water. 
The metamorphosis was painful to watch. After the terrible screaming, uh, the Kamalas calmed down and started to cry on the ground. I felt like the pain was disappearing after a few minutes. A bright and peaceful being was rising in front of me. I felt like the bright creature could read my thoughts. I thank you for walk for waking me up. I was suffering. I must go where I belong. If Thirsta wa awaits, if Thirsta, all Velokas must go there after waking up. If you wish to see the light, come with me. I have the key. It said. It didn't answer, or I didn't answer. After a while, it faded away. February second, eighteen seventy-six. I was writing my or reading my writings to see if I'm missing something. I recall Remor from the fifth reality. If there is a fifth reality, there must be at least a four more. I was thinking that Thirsta might or may not be a city in this world, but a reality in itself. I wish all answers came to me. I deeply regret the fact that I didn't accept the Valka's invitation. Since I saw the Valka's, I keep seeing this diagram spinning in my head in a single sentence. Time is the rhythm of your perception. How much more of this do we have? Oh my god. There's so much. Uh, got a visit from some Brian. I told him about the things I've seen, but he didn't want me to hear their left. I don't blame him. I understand that reality presented before my eyes is invisible to most people. I wish I could find a friend just like me because my son, he thinks I'm insane. Uh, July 25th, 1876. My body and mind are beginning to understand the pattern. Life becomes quite easy to control when you cut all the social laws and only apply our reality laws because they are not only laws, but also behaviors. Chemical behaviors, natural laws. Without those behaviors, without those laws, we wouldn't exist. Sometimes I wish to be a leaf on the ground, calm while dying. Oh. November 11th, 1876. Last night after the storm, a huge creature visited my garden for a few seconds and then disappeared. I found a strange bottle with a pink liquid inside in the same spot the creature landed. Oh! Uh, Pelotras! I can't fully understand the context contents of the bottle. I have found red blood cells in it and bacteria not yet recognized. The bacteria seems to get rid of unusual behaviors in any kind of living creature. I poured some of the pink liquid on a dying plant and it bloomed after a few minutes. I cut my finger to test the liquid with human tissue and it cured after a few seconds. This bacteria made work as pallets or platelets and white blood cells but at a very high speed. What creature can that be? That's so long, dude. I'm gonna hydrate real quick. But it's important because it's, it's, um, it's kind of bringing everything together. November 22nd, 1876. I dream of thousands of black cats surrounding my house. Big yellow eyes staring at me while I sleep. Oh my god, a bunch of Mr. Midnights. Beings in the Thirsta are varied from roots to giant insects. Roots are the first in this reality. Insects came later. I learned their language and numerology. Oh, fucking sick, dude. Let's go. Yes. Okay, the Great Velokas is the beginning of the first reality, Primitive Light. The Velokas' body structure is quite different from ours. They are made out of photons and sound waves. They are also both male and female. When the youngsters reach age 299,700, or 299,792,459, they're crowned with a shield. At the ripe age. <laughs> The are creation of the Great Velokas, King of Thirsta, second reality life. Being in Thirsta feels like becoming what you can't understand on Earth. It's where leaves sing while falling off the tree, and the water whispers its wisdom while you drink it. Pandora, creation of the five realms of essential existence. Ah, oh, free! Uh, besides in the human world, third reality. Earth, Mars, and Jupiter, consciousness, practice of will. Synercity? The end of vibration, when both ends are opposite of the same degree, resides in third and fourth reality, death. Mabuka is the end of light. That, if I see that monster, I'm going to lose my mind, dude. Oh, that's so scary. March 23rd, 1877, Mother Mabuka is letting me go. I've spent 15 days here and in Mabuka's den and I'm tired. I don't need to hide from pain anymore because it's part of me. It feels like love is everywhere and in, in, in everything. I enjoy crying, I enjoy laughing, I enjoy being alive. How do you find each other? I'm getting ready for the journey back home. Mabuka sent me to the endless limits of Mabuka's den and I'm waiting for the Luciferns. I had to become friends with them or to become, or to be more precise, become one of them. Luciferns gather in filaments 
That's why they look like they are growing hair and the big face is mostly for communication purposes and to scare off the predators. I hope my body can survive the journey. Gravity collects particles. It's a creative force with energy. Okay, the drawing to the left looks like an antenna. An antenna? Okay. Okay. That was pretty, pretty valuable information, I think, because we figured out that this... We can kind of decipher it. Um, I don't know if she'll kind of do it herself or decipher it like that or nah. Like, do I kind of look at it and I'm like, I don't know. We'll, we'll come back to it. We'll come back. Is this the mountain? This mountaintop is very high because it's the top. Great observation, friend. Um, so that's not the mountain that we need. Cool. Kind of pointless. Okay, let's go back then. Go this way. Yo. Cleo? Cleo, do not. Oh my god. She was laying on my keyboard again. Oh, wow, what are you? You look like fairies in my books. The purest of feelings, the light of all material, we are Velokas. Oh, so cool. You're very shiny and you make me feel so happy. So very happy. Look, creature, one of the young Velokas will receive the shield. Oh, God. <laughs> That's... I'm not going to even try. Soldier of the sun, creature from the soil, fruit from the seed. Let the universe illuminate you with the truth and be free. Huh, where are you all going? We continue our paths to life. May freedom be with you, my friend. Sir or miss, can you do magical things? The universe is already doing magic all the time. You are full of magic yourself. But I wish to know things, and it's odd. I feel like you know everything. We are the light. We are everywhere. What answers are you looking for? I want to know who killed my parents and why is that big monster hunting me? The truth will come to those who seek. Your path towards the truth is immense. You are living in a world that turns its back to you. You are too fragile to face the truth just now and too strong to let it go. Too fragile to face the truth, but I've seen my parents decapitated bodies. I don't know, maybe. Maybe he's got a point, I don't know. But, dear, don't be sad. We have to keep on going. Uh, yes, kitty, you're right. Yep, yep, yep. So this must be a puzzle. This moves the arms. So... Is there something in the journal that shows me how they're supposed to look? There is a specific pose. Yeah. I was just wondering if it was like in the book. No. Go up. We go up. Go here. I don't think I know the specific pose yet. Yeah. I don't think I know it yet. But when I hopefully find it out, we'll come back. Um, okay, where have we not gone yet? We've gone this way, didn't, haven't we? Yeah. So here, let's go back down here and see what's up. Go this way. Oh, a little village. Greetings, are you interested in fabric and thread? I have some. Why do you use fabric? Out of curiosity, miss, what is the purpose you use fabric? Everybody is naked. Well, whatever you need it for, we also have thread for making other things. I see. I have to go, miss. Have a nice day. Okay. Hello. Who's there? Are you blind? Me, friend. Can't you see me? Oh, no. I see you a little. You have four eyes. Wow. Not quite, but close. Uh, four eyes. I don't have... Um, what are you selling? Forget it. <laughs> Only the very best or best 
flow buzz of this entire land. Do you want to smell it? They look like coconuts. So yeah. It's poo, miss. Poo that I collect. They are not coconuts. Poo? Like in the toilet? Wow, I, I thought it was really bad to eat poo. Bad? Why? It's very yummy. We love it here. It makes everything grow and shine. Don't take this seriously. Um, I have to get going now. Good luck with the plobas. Bye! Oh, you're walking a little ladybug. That is so cute. Okay, let's keep going here. Hello, what are you doing? Uh, working on my clock. Uh, I see you, sir. Do you know where I can find the great wizard? No, miss. I do clocks. I fix clocks. I listen to clocks. Tick tock. Okay, well, do you know where the mountain coachroom is? Mountain coachroom only exists in wintertime. Otherwise, it's just a regular mountain. But I can't wait for winter. The king said that the wizard would be in mountain coachroom. You don't need to wait for winter to come. That's absurd. Time is an infinitely layered reality. So what should I do? Go to the big clock and change the season. Just change it. I knew it. I knew it. Yep, where's the clock? It's right in the middle, I know. You find a big clock in the tree? Cool. Oh, but I already saw it and it was broken. A broken clock? That's a disgrace. Poor clock. You have to help me. Please fix it for me. I beg you, I have to go home. I never fix a clock for nothing. Otherwise, my life's time goes to waste. What do you mean? I charge one big golden coin per, per clock. Time is gold, you know? But I don't have any. Mm, then no clock will ever be fixed. Okay, how do I get a coin then? I'm not even gonna do it as a favor. Look, there's a snail that loves to give gold away. Talk to him. Cool, a snail. I'm gonna find a little snail. Uh, is there any news today? Good day. Would you like to read the newspaper? I can't read. So. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know it's called Ether Ethernish? Are you a tourist? Uh, yes, I am. My name is Fran. I've never seen a tourist before and I've never seen a friend either. Welcome to Etherista. I hope you will have fun here. Thank you so much. Cool. Snail. Oh, I'm going to have to beat him in a game of chess? I don't know how to play chess! Uh, what are you doing? The war is about to start and I can't see the meaning in the meaningless. What do you mean? Ooh. Join me, young one. You'll be rewarded with one gold coin if you come back alive. Join you? Join you where? The game is about to begin. You are the Kamalas. I am the Velokas. Black and white. A shadows and light. So it's a board game? It's like chess? Yes, a board game. Let's immerse in this adventure. You against me. I give you a coin if you win. What do you say? Yeah, sure. What are the rules? First to place three of the same figures in a diagonal, horizontal, or vertical line wins. Oh, it's like tic-tac-toe! We toss the machinery and see who begins. Are you in? So literally tic-tac-toe. Literally. But why would you just give me the gold coin if I win? Time is gold and I'm very old. I've been around a long time. I just want to have a good time. He's here for a good time, not a long time. Let's go. Well. Put it in the middle. It's gonna be a, a freaking scratch. Yep, 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 yep. Well, that's, that's fine. Okay, we can do it again. I know there's like a secret to tic-tac-toe and I, I, I don't know it. I think just place one in the middle for good, good measure. Get three corners first. Okay, three corners. Oh, 
I fucking lost. <laughs> I wasn't even paying attention. <laughs> I wasn't even paying attention at all. Anyway. Okay. <laughs> uh. You suck. Oh, this guy did it. This guy did the trick. How do I? I don't know how to do it. I literally can't beat a game of fucking tic-tac-toe against a stupid snail. I can't. One corner, then diagonal, then a third corner. One corner. The diagonal corner. It's gotta be this corner. Oh, is that what I messed up on before? You know what? I don't want to talk about it. 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 No, I'm not going to talk about it. Moving on. We're just going to cut that right out of the, the video. Mm -hmm. uh, good day, little creature. Are you flying boats? I've seen flying boats, sir. How does that work? I th uh, think about them floating on water, but instead of water, it's air. It's so simple. Could I borrow one? And could I borrow one of your boats to fly away? I want to go home. Oh, go home. I see. Sadly, these boats only work with if they're stinnies. I see. Well, thank you, sir. Have fun making your boat. Hey, thank you. What about this guy? Hello, little root. You're so cute. Oh, thank you. You're cute, too. Um, I'm Fran. And you? Me? No, I'm not Fran. I'm Zelma. I want to sing all day long. Hee <laughs> hee, what's your favorite song? My favorite song goes like this. One and one are two. One and two are three. Two and three are five. And three and five are eight. I don't remember any more than that. I learned that at school. It's fun. Oh, that sounds very mathematical. I have to go now. Blah, blah, blah. You gave me nothing. Thank you. So I have a gold coin. Who do I give it to again? This guy. I have a little problem. Oh, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Tell me fix it, blah, blah. blah nothing to give. Blah, blah, blah. Wait, it's in my it's in my coin purse. Oh, here. Never mind. Here you go. You have to offer me the job first. All right, do it and be polite. Oh, sir, clockmaker, would you like to fix my clock? In exchange for this piece of gold in the name of time. I beg of you, accept my offer. Of course, that was an incredible job offer. Very passionate. Great, let's go to the big clock and fix it. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, you're like a spider. You're like a spider. We going this way? Nope. Go this way, friend. This way. Yeah, fix that shit. While you do that, I'm gonna eat a piece of my brownie. Fix that shit. Hurry up. Are you having trouble? You're right. The clock is broken. You can fix it, right? Of course, just a second. You better. What is it? It seems that somebody was playing a dirty game around this clock. What do you mean? I mean, somebody broke it. It's immoral. Breaking a defenseless clock? Why would somebody break it? Kamalas. Winter, mountain court, term. The stones. Many reasons, miss. Oh, what are you talking about? I don't understand. Kamala's the evil darkness. They work for Remor, the terrible black. And Kamala's are the only ones allowed into this land. The only evil we have around. It wouldn't surprise me. Remor wants the stones. But what I don't understand is... For what purpose? The stones are meaningless for him and his kingdom. And the stones are in winter time. Is Remor a giant black monster with a goat mask? A dead goat mask? Yes, you know him? Yes, I think it's because of him I'm in this land. I'm a human, you know. 
Oh, a human. Now I understand. Also, I need the stones. They are my way back home. I hope it's not too late. Ha! That's why you need to go into the winter time and go to Mountain Cotrum. Exactly. I have to talk with the Great Wizard and borrow the stones. Oh, well, it's fixed now. I'll give you something that will make it easy for you. Here. Sweet. It's a remote control for the clock. You'll be able to travel into all four seasons, but it's just a prototype, so it may not work if you're too far away. And remember, time is an infinite layered reality, so be careful. I'll be careful. Thank you very much. You're a very nice clockmaker guy. Please call me Cogwind. All right, Mr. Cogwind and friend, by the way, see you soon. Goodbye. So this is the mechanic that is subbing out for the pills, which, yes, this one's way worse. <laughs> like... Way worse, as in better, as in harder, as in more difficult puzzles. So, um, cool. Oh, so yeah, it's right here. So, what do we do now? So we go, before we go to Mount Cotrim, I'm just going to call it Mount Cotrim, because Mountain Cotrim sounds weird. Also, Cotrim sounds like a drug. Um, let's go look. Why am I up here? This is not where I wanted to be. Excuse me, did you see that? Yes, my dear, I saw it. What was it? I think it's the shadows. Oh dear, I don't want to see them again. Again? Yes, kitty, they were all over the place at the hospital. I want to go home. We will go home soon. <clears throat> kitty, can you make me a promise that whatever happens, you and I will always be on the same side? Of course, my dear, I promise. Great, now we have to keep on going. Cool, interesting. Some scary ass dragons. So let's go to winter. Yeah, yeah. So this has to be the mountain, right? During the winter? Oh, what's this? 